Okay, this is an Eastern box turtle. Notice the coloration on the shell. If this gets very much further away, I won't be able to find it. This is probably a female because of the, of the way her shell is shaped. It's a fairly good size box turtle. They normally don't get quite this big this fast. Let me head her out keep her in the sun so you can see her. She was found trying to cross the street. If you can hear the background noise, it's a very busy road. A very kind person came, stopped her car in the middle of the road, stopped traffic in back of her, grabbed the turtle and brought it in for me to put some place that she won't get run over. I'm going to take her about a quarter mile back into the back part of the property where there's a stream and a pond and let her loose back there so she won't try to cross the road again. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing this turtle is a female because her eye color is a dark, is a brownish. If it were a male, she'd have more of a red colored eye. It's an eastern box turtle because if she'd hold still, you can see the four claws on her hind feet. The box turtles also have a, a shell that if she gets scared, she can pull herself all the way in and close that shell up tight. I've handled her a couple times a day, so she's not going to pull all the way in. But if I scare her, she'll pull all the way in and close that shell, and you'll think it looks like a rock. It's called a hinged shell, because this can come completely shut. There she goes. She's almost got it shut. She's still kind of mad at me for handling her. She won't pull all the way in. If she were afraid, she could pull all her body in, and you could not reach any parts of her at all. You can see the flat part of her bottom. Her shell, she's definitely a female, definitely walking around looking for a new home. We had a lot of rain last night, and maybe where she was got too wet, or she just wasn't happy. But she was out on the road today, and now she needs a new home. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs, such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees, such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitaes in many different sizes, from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine and we are noted for our green giant arborvitaes and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar, in the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, peking lilacs. We also have nanaberry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs including Winterberry Holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.